I had somebody ask me the other day, what comics am I focusing on when it comes to my uh, kind of collection building and investment strategy? And uh, it's pretty simple for me. Yes, there are key comics in each age that I focus on, but I also focus a lot on news and upcoming uh, things with the MCU on the theatrical side and Disney Plus, of course. So I thought that I would do a five comics that I suggest you try to get your hands on uh, in the near future. And of course, this is all just my opinion, but I thought it would be fun. And welcome to Chaos Comics, everybody. Chaos here, we're starting brand new. If you're along for the journey, it could get pretty wild because it could end up actually uh, being Chaos Comics in real life, which I'll talk about down the road as we go. So let's go through these really quick. And I wanna say up front, I'm not saying you have to go get a Journey into Mystery uh, Thor with a 6.5 CGC. I'm not saying it even has to be graded, but if you can get your hands on a raw copy of these comics that I'm gonna go over, definitely try to. And I'll explain why for each one as well. So I've got five of them. And the first one is The Journey Into Mystery, annual number one, 6.5. And the reasoning's really simple. Spoiler alert. First appearance of Hercules and Zeus, and it is Thor versus Hercules. If you haven't seen Thor Love and Thunder, you should go watch it. And the end credits will explain exactly why this comic is a really, really good one to pick up for the future, especially if Thor 5 happens and it happens like I think it's going to happen. This next one is a no brainer. There are no like secret deals here or comics that nobody knows about that I'm gonna suggest to you in this video. I'm suggesting to you stuff that's going to continue to go up in popularity, if that makes any sense. So I have an ultimate fallout. I have the first appearance of Miles Morales. It's one of my favorite comics in my collection because not only is it a 9.6, but it's also sketched and signed by Mark Bagley. And he sketched Spider-Gwen on the comic. So to me, this one is just absolutely fantastic. Yes, these are pricey. I'm not saying you're going to get one in a high grade, but if you can get your hands on a raw one, you should. Not only because of Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse, there's going to come a point where Miles Morales will enter live action. It has to happen. And when it does, this is the first appearance. It's going to absolutely skyrocket. Next up, and once again, no secret sauce on this video. You're thinking, oh, well, these are the, the, the no-brainers. You're absolutely right. If you guys want me to do a video on more obscure comics that I'm focusing on, I can do that. But these aren't obscure. These are ones that are in your face, and uh, there's good reason uh, for long-term holds. Mutants. New Mutants, number 98. The first official appearance of Wade Wilson, uh, as Deadpool. This is a 9.8 white pages, and you already know. I mean, Deadpool is coming. There was actually a uh, an update the other day that Ryan Reynolds is now training for Deadpool 3. He's coming to the MCU. When that first trailer drops, watch this. Watch the uptick in this comic. And then from there, he's going to be in the MCU for the foreseeable future. I think this is probably one of the safest investments you can get. Even if you get your hand on a, a more poor condition, uh, uh, ungraded one, it doesn't matter. Try to get your hands on one. Okay, two comics left. And once again, I want to preface this with, I know this is a high-end comic. I know this is a key comic and it's hard to obtain. But if you somehow can get your hands on even a raw copy of it, even if it's a 1.5 or 2, you definitely should. This is the Fantastic Four, number 48, the first appearance of Galactus and Silver Surfer. And this is a 7.5 white page. This is a very high grade for this, for this book. This book is phenomenal. I actually did a video on this book that I had to send it to CGC twice to get reholdered. Once because it was cracked, and the second because of huge Newton rings, and I got it back, and all is good. This is one of my favorite comics in this collection, and you already know, Galactus is coming eventually. I mean, he may not be in the multiverse saga, but he's going to be down the line eventually, and if he comes, that means Silver Surfer. And this one, you don't even have to go off the MCU strategy. You can just go straight comics on this one. This is from 1966. This thing... Uh, is absolutely beautiful. And the final one today, of course, is another no-brainer, and they're not easy to get, but they, to me, in my opinion, are really, really good long-term hold investment pieces. And this is Avengers. This is actually Avengers number eight from 1964. It's an off-white to white 7.0, and it is the first appearance of Kang the Conqueror. This 
obviously, for the obvious reasons of uh, Avengers Kang Dynasty being announced, Avengers Secret Wars, we're getting our multiversal war, we're going to see multiple variants of Kang, Jonathan Majors is the big bad, Kevin Feige's already confirmed, uh, it's all about Kang uh, for the next two phases, so uh, this one right here... I think it, along with the Deadpool one, is one of the safest uh, investments out there. Once again, I'm not giving investment advice. I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you guys what I do. So here are five no-brainer comics for me to grab and to hold. If you guys enjoyed, if you found it informative, drop a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, talk to me in the comment section. If you like the channel, if you have suggestions on what you want to see in the future, you guys let me know. I'll see you soon.